So Spider-Man 2 just released, and you know what that means? We're going for the Platinum Trophy. I'm here! So whereas in Spider-Man 1, we played as Peter Parker, so and in Spider-Man Miles Morales, we played as, well, Miles Morales. In Spider-Man 2, we get to play as both Spider-Men. They come together as a dream team, epic duo, and return for an all new adventure. So it's time to suit up, swing, jump, and glide across New York. Woohoo, straight into the action. Oh my days, yes, let's go. Oh, it's Sandman. Sandman looking big. Let's go, brother. Oh, damn. Oh, damn! We better run. I got you, brother. Shove him on the couch and jump over. Or not. Get out of here, mate. Ooh! Damn! Jesus. Wow. Oh, we're right back at it. Oh my god. This is crazy. Oh, here we go with the combo. Jesus. Oh, what? Oh my god, look at the view distance, holy cow. Here we go. And with Sandman defeated, we earned our first trophy. Boom, there's our first trophy. You're gonna need help. So for this one, the main goal, we're gonna start by completing the story and doing a couple of things along the way. And then we're gonna jump straight into step two, which is the main focus of the whole playthrough, which is to go for 100% in all the districts. 100% in all the districts involves quite a lot, but we'll go over that once we get to step two. And then step three, finish up all the upgrades, reach max level and clean up any miscellaneous stuff. Sit back, relax and join me as we platinum Spider-Man 2. Once that epic intro was over, we needed to go and do a little bit cleaning up. Sandman caused some havoc, destroyed a little bit of New York, so we went out, did some spidey cleaning, and saved our best friend, Jameson. Oh, hospital. Of course. Hey, Jameson. I gotta tell Spider-Man. He's not gonna be happy about being saved by Spider-Man. No, they kidnapped me. I did not consent. I, I. Uh, menaces. I'm surrounded by menaces. Oh, shut up and accept the Alps, Jameson. I'm not going anywhere. You are. You're going to a hospital, mate. Where am I going? Into the wall, apparently. And once we'd sent Jameson to hospital, we bought our first suit style. Ooh, a trophy. Stylish. Shortly after that, we found Black Cat. We did a really freaking cool mission where we were jumping through portals. It was crazy. She's still trying to get the hang of it. <laughs> MJ, she stole the wand, and magic is very real. Yo, this is so freaking cool. Can you knock it off? I'm trying to help you. Whoa! The elf. Whoa! <laughs> Yo, that's so cool, bro. Whoa, what the hell? Didn't even bring my scarf. That wand can take us right to Craven. The set pieces in this game are so freaking cool. Damn. Look, kid. Not that it's your business. My girlfriend's in Paris. 
and I got her into trouble with some bad people. She needs me now. Girl, can I get one of those? Thank you. That was a freaking cool mission. We then took control of Peter once again and we were out at the fair. We did a couple of fairground rides. We did the water gun. We then moved on to doing some basketball. Never knew you were so into basketball, Harry. He's a pro at everything. Yeah, let's go! Absolutely destroyed these cans. <laughs> not supposed to be able to do that. <laughs> Then we destroyed some moles. Those hydras who has opposable thumbs. <laughs> Jesus. And with that, we'd finished taking part in all the carnival rides. So we got a cool little prize. Got with this one. You're looking good, Pete. <laughs> Doesn't make any sense. You know I'm never taking this off, right? And it was then time to go on the roller coaster. <laughs> that was epic, right? Jesus, what? And of course, with this being a Spider-Man game, things are never hunky-dory for too long. Craven decided he wanted to show up and ruin everything, so he showed up. Then Harry got out his venomous side. Craven slapped up Pete, and then Harry was having a fight with Craven. And then not long after that, while Harry was checking out Pete, Venom transferred itself from Harry into Pete and that's the start of Pete becoming a bit of a dick. And now that we had that power, we also got a new suit which unlocked this trophy. Ooh, a trophy as well, a new suit. And shortly after that, we was doing another story mission as Miles and then we unlocked another trophy. Ooh, a trophy, it's been ages. My community, complete hard bop. Seems like it unlocked a cool new suit as well. Check that thing out. That's a cool suit. And then moments later, I was tackling a base. So basically you hold L2, you fire it to a surface and it gives you this kind of, well, web line. Once we're above an enemy, we have to press square. Grapples them up. It's a nice way of staying in stealth. We did that to 25 enemies and unlocked this trophy. You're done, Hunter. Oh, nice. Slack line, beautiful stuff. Stealth take down 25 enemies in stealth from the web line. Then I was just roaming around New York, got my new little suit, got the spider cat in my backpack. I was doing some tricks in the air. Basically, you just hold square and then move the directional and it'll do some crazy tricks and stuff. We needed to do 30 in a row without touching the ground and we unlocked a trophy for it. Oh, nice. Hang time. Form 30 air tricks in a row without touching the ground. Now, during this next mission, we was just swinging along, chasing this plane, trying to avoid lizard. We fell in the water and, uh, well, yeah. My freaking cat's gonna drown. Oh, on, let's go. The cat's trying not to drown. <laughs> Harry's having a whale of a time, one of the two. I'm not sure which. I know, I know. Oh, Jesus. Whoa. This is crazy. Jesus. This is insane. Right back to the chase. Oh my god. <laughs> Come on, bro. Slow down. Once we'd finally caught up with him, it was time to fight. Once we'd beat him and the mission was complete, we unlocked this trophy. We got him. Nice. Ooh, a trophy. Medicine. Then not long after that, we was doing a side objective as Miles, and we, uh, well, we face planted. Splat. I don't even know what I just did there. Attempt and fail a trick before landing on the ground. Oh, okay. 
Then I decided it's time to continue doing story missions. We took control of Mary Jane for a couple of stealth action moments. I actually really like the stealth sections in this game compared to the first. I feel like they did a, a way better job in this one than they did in the other. Once we'd made it through there though, sneaking along, we found Pete, we made some noise. And unfortunately, it seemed Venom was uh, quickly taking hold of Pete. And while that was all going on, Miles, unfortunately, was captured by Craven. Oh, bro. You piece of turd. With Pete not feeling great, it was time to take control of Mary Jane again and... Uh-oh. Oh no, he's completely lost control. Come on, go, 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 go. Holy cow. We escaped Pete, and then we took back control of Miles, and it was time to tackle another boss fight, this time Mr. Negative. Got him. Oof, that was a pretty, uh... Pretty tough boss fight right there. During the boss fight, we unlocked a new ability, Reverse Flux. We pulled in six enemies together at the same time and unlocked this. You wanna know who I am? I'm the oh, oh, oh. Ooh, a trophy. Overdrive. As Miles used Reverse Flux to pull in six or more enemies. With the boss fight beat and the mission complete, we unlocked another trophy. Ooh, another trophy, which is another way. Let's go. Yes. Finally, we get to face Craven. Let's go, bro. He's gonna end up bringing out full on Venom at this point, innit? We haven't gone full on Venom mode yet, have we? I feel like it could happen. Oh shit, I forgot you knew about that. Stronger than I thought. Nice. We have to shut it up. Oh, get out of my face. Yeah, he's definitely gonna force out Venom. We're gonna go full Venom mode, it's gonna be so sick. Oh, damn. I mean, we've been slowly evolving the suit. Over the course of the past like seven, eight hours. Oh, don't get in the way, Miles. It's not gonna go well. We're we gonna have to fight Miles. Oh, we're gonna play as Miles and fight Spider. Oh, this is too freaking cool, bro. This is crazy, bro. Got oh, the parry's on lockdown. Yes. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> yes, brother. No. Oh no. It definitely doesn't, brother. Nice. Oh shit. Round two. Oh shit, I wasn't ready for that. Uh oh. Venom's gonna be out any minute now. This is not gonna go well. Yes. Stun him. Let's go. Let's go. Easy beat down. Boom. Let's go, Miles. Oh my god. Round three. Where's that bell? This is crazy, bro. Oh. Stop me from doing it again. Yes. This is crazy, bro. Come on, we're almost there. Come on, brother. We're right there. Block. Come on, finish him. We need to. We need to end it. Paris, Paris, Paris. That's it. Oh, this is crazy, bro. Oh, no, he's about to transform in here. Oh. Come on. Go on, Pete. You can do it, bro. Yes. Come on, bro. Rip that shit off. Come on. Oh, no, no. It's going to turn into Venom, is it? Coming back. Oh, no. Nice one. Nice. The Great Hunt. Let's go. Oh, crap. Venom. Oh, this is so cool, bro. Oh, we actually get to play as Venom, no way. 
Yo, that's too good, bro. Oh, my God. Bro, if we can actually, like, roam around the city as Venom as well, that'd be sweet. Charge. Oh, my God. <laughs> Look at this. This is crazy. Slam. Oh, let's go. Don't try to shoot me with a rocket, bro. Oh, nice. Well, they definitely did a brilliant job of making you feel absolutely invincible as Venom. Come with you. Damn, that's a badass view. Walking through the flames like a boss. Oh, here we go. Let's do it. This is so freaking cool. Let's go, bro. Oh my days! You freaking chop a chunk, my tongue. It's over, Craven. It's over. Oh! Chewed his freaking head off. With all that craziness done, we unlocked our next story trophy. alone and it seems venom just cannot get enough of us so he goes after pete and unfortunately uh it doesn't go too well for mary jane pete and mj get tackled venom grabs her and she is turned into this How happened to MJ? What is that? Looks like it's boss fight time. Let's go. Nice. Oh god. My back! And with that boss fight complete, that's the mission done, and another story trophy for us. Oh damn, I think we, I think we got her. There she is. Ooh, I quit. Hell yeah, let's go. Hey. Now during this next mission, we unlocked another ability as Peter, which is uh, the anti-venom suit and the abilities. We use the ability and unlock this trophy. Wow. Oh, nice. A trophy as well. Antidote. Let's go. Shortly after that, we was taking care of a hive and unlocked another trophy. Oh, nice. Trophy. Evolved. What's that one? Defeat 100 enemies with evolved venom abilities. We then had enough tech points to do the final upgrade for our gadgets. The tech parts, you, you just get them by basically doing pretty much everything. You find stuff, you complete missions. You get tech points for all of that. There's also little chests scattered around that you can pick up. But with all those tech points, we got the final upgrade for the trophy. Beautiful. Ice to the max. Purchase all gadget upgrades. Beautiful stuff. And with that, it was finally time for the final boss fight and the final mission. Oh, here we go. Boom, boom, boom. Get the hell out of here, Venom. This is over, mate. Nice. Did we get him? Crap. No. Miles. Woohoo. Nice. <laughs> oh my god. They're both beating him up. Let's go. Oh my god. The combos. Go on. Ooh. Holy cow. This is insane. Either way, Pete. We still have time? No, we don't. 
And then we beat the game for the trophy. Yeah, there it is. Heal the world. Finish the main story. All right, so now we've finished the game. That's step one complete. So we're going to move on to the second step, which is to try and get 100% in all districts of New York. You can see there, I've already done the majority of it because I just enjoyed the game so much and the side content that I was playing it as I go. So you can see down in the bottom left, my overall progress is 78. So yeah, we've, we've done the majority of it, but it does mean we have to go through now and do the rest of the stuff, continue with leveling up and complete and everything. So with that said, let's move on to 100% uh, in all of the districts. So the first thing I did was finish the final flame side mission. Oh, that was close. Ooh, a trophy. Crimson Hour. And then while just roaming around New York, I grabbed one of the collectibles, which give us some tech points and unlock the trophy. There's another trophy. Resourceful. Collect a total of 10,000 tech points. I then did the 23rd and final photo op. New York, New York. Is that for all the photos? Yep, complete all photo ops. I then took on another side quest where we needed to help Howard. He wanted us to take the birds that he's been looking after and take them to, to a nice safe spot. So we did that. Let's go, birdies. Gonna drop these birds off and I'll be right back. Howard? Okay, this is it. Your new home. Fiji, you're in charge. Okay, I'm exhausted. I'll hitch the train back. Better go check on Howard. He must be missing them already. Oh no. The past is in it. Looks like natural. Oh. Oh hey, Spider-Man. Hey, sorry. Friend of mine. Take all the time you need. If it helps, um. It looked like he was at peace. He was. He's finally on that adventure with his wife. That was a, a nice ending there. Bit of sweet. A new adventure. Help Howard. I then completed the final FNSM request. These are just more side missions. The six of them all together. They're all really, really fun and really good to do. For this one though, the final one we was playing as Pete when he was a little bit younger, still working for the Daily Bugle. We start out on a bike riding through New York, get into a little bit of a scuffle with uh, with these guys, and then we finally get where we need to be. We give him the picture, and uh, the rest is history. A picture of the spider creep for tomorrow's front page. Congratulations! You're officially a bugle photographer. Really? Thank you, sir. You won't regret it. Are you okay? Because you've been staring at that for like five minutes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Give me an action shot I can bring to the bugle. Oh, well, sure. This good? Yeah, and when you jump, angle left so I get your silhouette. I, I will. You got it. Ready, set, jump! <laughs> nice. That's a sick picture. The side missions are so good, man. Hey, we got another trophy friendly neighborhood. Spider Man, complete all of the requests. So, next, I decided to tackle the hunter bases. So, for this, there's only four hunter bases, but before you actually get to the base, you have to complete a couple of what the game calls hunter blinds. They're just tiny little skirmishes. Then you go onto a computer, you download the locations. So you do the 11 hunter blinds and the four hunter bases to complete this one. Nice. Seek and destroy. And a new suit as well. That's all the hunter bases complete. Then I took out the final symbiote nest. There's only 10 of them. And they basically show up when Venom takes over the world. So you have to just clean up all 10. Exterminator. There we go. That's all symbiote nests 
After that, I grabbed my final two spider bots. There's 43 of these all together. Once you've got all of them, you get a new little side mission. You head over there. This woman, like, takes all the spider bots and thanks you. I honestly, I don't know what this is referencing, but once we've done that, we unlock the trophy. Boom, there it is. Funky Wireless Pro calls. We've solved the mystery of the spider bots origin. After that, I completed the ninth EMF experiments. These are little side missions. Sometimes you take control of a bee, sometimes it was a bike. They're all based on little technologies that Oscorp has been building. They're all pretty fun. I completed the ninth one though and unlocked the trophy for getting 100% in all districts. What? Bro, what the hell? Get out of here, mate. There it is, superior. 100% complete all districts. Hell yes. So the next thing I decided to do was complete the final mission for the unidentified targets. So there's nine of these. They're usually on rooftops and it's, a, it's basically a robot. You have to stay in the slipstream to download the data. Once we've done all nine of them and downloaded all the data, we got the location of where it was coming from, the source. So we headed over there. It turned out to be some dude's mansion. We explored it a little bit and got the trophy. There it is, complete. And a new trophy, data collector. And of course, just from earlier, we completed the ninth EMF experiment, which means the main mission for it was available. We needed to head over to Pete's garage. We completed the little mini game, the usual stuff. And once we'd done that, we got a new suit and a new trophy. Ooh, a new suit. I like it. Nice, there we go, another trophy for us. Uh, foundational. Complete all of EMF experiments. After that, I decided to tackle the Marco memories. These are just little crystal things. You go over there. There's 14 of them all together. You go over, you, you fight a few sand enemies. You get the crystal. And once you've got all 14, you put this thing together. You go over to where his daughter lives and you give her this. There it is. Amazing. So that's for reaching the max level of level 60. And then we might get, a tr there might be a trophy for collecting all the crystals as well. All right, we have arrived at the house. Oh. We got all the pieces of the crystal. Put them all together. And it's a statue of him and his daughter. Feels good, man. Feels good. She's okay. There it is. Grains of sand. Piece together the broken memories. So next, there's five Brooklyn Vision missions. These are again five side missions that you play as uh, Miles for. Once you complete all five, you get another marker that says to go over to this location for a gift. They didn't have to do this. Got a gift. Yeah, it's perfect. Oh, that is a cool suit. It's got his flag on there. That's cool. Brooklyn, Visions is the best. Brooklyn Pride, let's go. Complete a gift. So after that, I tackled the final Mysterio mission. These are called Mysterium's challenges. You can get like a bronze, silver or gold. They're all little challenges like defeat all enemies or don't get hit too many times perform finishes stuff like that you only actually need a bronze all right here we go the final challenge let's go mysterio it's a cool little uh mini replica of the area defeat mysterio okay i like it let's freaking go i absolutely do mate on your head son boom let's go it's over get me the hell out of here Grand finale complete. So you managed to survive. Doesn't it matter? Bro, what the hell? Alive or dead, you will never escape my world. Just dead, bro. No, I didn't. <laughs> God damn it. Hey, what? Now we're just. It's not fair, bro. Smashing these guys. I think I need to get over there, to be fair. Oh. There we go. A job well done and a trophy behind the masks for completing the grand finale. 
After that, I was just free roaming the world doing side stuff. And I decided, to, let's go do a crime, a random crime. While I was doing the crime, I unlocked another trophy. Oh, nice. Surge. What's that? Use the symbiote powers 25 uh, times during symbiote surge. Sweet. Now, moving on, I tackled the 10 Prowler stash missions. Once we complete all 10 for these, you just go to an area as Miles and you use uh, like a detective vision. You figure out a little bit of a puzzle. You go in, you collect the stash. Once you grab all 10 stashes, you unlock the final mission, which unlocks the trophy. Ooh, there we go. Co signing. There's another trophy in the bag for us. Completed all the uh, tech stashes, which means we can. Probably buy all of the upgrades now as well because we've pretty much completed every side mission and every collectible everything So we should hopefully now be able to buy all of the suits and the upgrades So let's do that. I mean, I probably could have bought all the skills earlier because I'd hit max level level 60 So let's purchase all of these Okay, so apparently there's no trophy for upgrading all the skills. I thought there would have been, but there isn't. We've got two more upgrades for the tech suit, so let's do that. I'd imagine there's a trophy for this. There we go. Boom. Yep, there we go. Fully loaded. Purchase all of the Spider-Man's uh, tech suit upgrades. And then the final one we need, I think, was for, I'm guessing, buying all of the suits. So I'm going to go through and buy them all. Oh, that's... That's so unfortunate. I need one extra suit and I need 20 tech points. That's that's pretty funny. Right, well, I'm going to have to go probably do one little one little crime and uh, we can purchase the final suit. Boom. I'm then dangerous. I've got an arrow on my head. <laughs> Defeat 100 enemies with the spider arm abilities. Let's go. Hell yeah. Right. I'm going to finish this fight and then I'm going to purchase the final suit as well. And then I think I've got maybe three more trophies left. There we go. So we're done with that. So now I'm going to go buy that final outfit or another trophy. There we go. Kitted out. Purchase all available suits. There we go. So all I need now is four trophies, I think. So I need home run, just let go. You know what to do and so so uh yeah completed step two move on to the final step step three which is these final four miscellaneous trophies so let's go get this platinum all right so the first trophy we're gonna get we have to go over to this area here so i'm gonna fast travel over there there we go we're in and then we need to go to so we need to go to f all four bases i think of the stadium or, or something so if I start here, I guess I've just got to run around all the four like corners, the, the touch bases. I don't know, really know what you call them, to be honest, but I think I'm doing it wrong, to be fair. I think it's these white things here. Is it these little white things? I apologize. I have no idea how baseball works. Did I touch? I'm guessing you got to touch all four of them. So let's just keep moving. That's that one. I know you hit the ball and someone runs for it or whatever, but that's about all I know. All right, so that might unlock the trophy. That didn't unlock the trophy. We've got to do them all in a row or something. Oh, there we go. Home run. There we go. He's still going. Home run like times two or times three. I don't actually know how many times I've gone round, but yeah, there we go. That's the first one. All right, so for this next one, we need to glide um, in one go, like... No letting go of the glides. We need to get from the financial district here at the bottom left up to the top right area of the map here. I'm going to fast travel over there and uh, let's do this. I think let's get some crazy speed and height. Here we go. So we need to get all the way down there. Make sure we just take these wind tunnels. Oof, we're going quick. Damn, is there any wind? Oh, there we go. Wind tunnel. I should be able to reach that. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Nice. All right, hopefully this now will take us all the way across to where we need to be and unlock the trophy. So we're in downtown Queens. Yeah, there it is. So 
Beautiful. So we made it all the way across and the trophy's ours. So now we just need two more trophies and we're done. So we're going to fast travel down into the financial district. It seems to be near a... Looking at a guide here, it seems to be next to a church around this area. Maybe it's this building? I'm not sure. I don't think it's that building. Here we go. I think it's this building. So they've hid a trophy here somewhere. I don't know if it's on top. It's not on top. Where did they hide the thing? Is that it? Nope, that's birds. <laughs> Where is this bot? Oh, that might be it. That kind of looks like it doesn't belong. Maybe. How do I shoot it? Like, what do I do to it? Oh, I'm guessing I can't interact with it because I'm not actually playing as Miles right now. What a... What an idiot. Let's switch to Miles. That would make... That would make much more sense, wouldn't it? <laughs> right, let's, uh, let's interact with it now. I don't know where the bloody building's gone now. There it is. All right, we found the building again. Yeah, there we go. Now I can interact. Boom. Doing my best, Finn. I'm trying to make a city we both be proud of. There it is. Just let go. So that's as Miles find the science trophy. Miles and Finn won together. We've got one more trophy, which is to go visit Aunt May's grave as uh, as Pete. So bit of a, a bit of sweet. Uh, end into the trophy here. So let's go do it and get this platinum. All right, so let's fast travel to the top of the map where the graveyard is. There we go. And let's go pay Aunt May a visit. Here it is. Parker Lux back with a vengeance. There it is. You know what to do. And the trophy, the platinum, let's go. Give it to me. Boom, we are dedicated. There it is. Platinum Trophy is ours. This one was absolutely brilliant. From start to finish, this game was amazing. There was like 180 collectibles or whatever the hell it said it was, but none of them really felt like collectibles. They was all super fun to play and do. None of it was overused or got boring. It was, uh, it was just a really fun game and a really fun Platinum. So thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, leave a like, subscribe, Check out one of the other videos and until next time, I'll catch you all on the next video.